Tonight, CBS7 talks to Houston Street. The 22-year-old former Longhorn was last year's American League Rookie of the Year. He moved up through the A's organization quickly. He was drafted during the 2004 season, was on the opening day roster in 2005, and became the team's closer by the end of May. You never expect anything like that. You just try and go out every single day, and whether it's in low A or double A or the big leagues, you're just trying to you know, get outs and put up zeros. And uh, you know, a lot of it was being at the right place at the right time, uh, being in an organization that, that was that just had some spots that, that, that could be filled and then uh, two unfortunate injuries and a couple good months of baseball and uh, here I am. His last college appearance was in 2004 in Omaha at the College World Series where the Longhorns lost in the championship series to Cal State Fullerton. Two of the players that beat Street's Longhorns play for the Midland Rockhounds, Jason Windsor and Kurt Suzuki. They're two good guys, and I'm glad to have them in my organization. And uh, you know, that, that's a tough loss. And it's, but at the same time, I was fortunate enough to go to the World Series three times. So, gotta be thankful for that. He's only 22 years old, but Houston Street is no stranger to pressure. As a freshman, he was voted Most Outstanding Player for the 2002 National Champion Texas Longhorns at the College World Series. It, it's it's a day-to-day -day thing. I mean, expectations are. are you, you set expectations for yourself and, uh, you know, those expectations should give you confidence and there's something to, to work off of. But, but in the end, it's you got to take it one, one at bat at a time, one pitch, all the cliches that everybody's heard before. But that's the fact of the game. That's why that's why they're cliches is because they work. We're both Texas X's. Let's talk Longhorns. Uh, I mean, there are a bunch of guys on this team that, that are former Trojans. You know, uh, we had talked about it. Actually, the, the biggest Trojan on our team is uh, Renee Latchman, who... Uh, and uh, he and I talked about it, and we, we still have a, 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 to get settled on that, that game. But I was at that game, and uh, it was a, just an awesome experience for not only my family and everybody, but just for the university for, you know, 35 years waiting for that moment to happen. And, and I'm just happy it did. Well, you know, a lot of people are saying now that Vince Young is the greatest quarterback in Texas history. <laughs> now, you've got you've to say to yourself, hang on a second, my dad won too, he never lost a game. Yeah, he never lost a game, and uh, there's, no one can say that. But, uh, you know, I think what, what, Vince, uh, what Vince did at the University of Texas uh, was truly remarkable, starting from what he did in the Michigan game in the Rose Bowl the year previous. Uh, you know, he's, he was a proven champion and a proven leader, and, and, you know, whether you can compare the two is two totally different areas, but they were both pretty good. What was your first big league moment? Do you, do you say? Probably uh, striking out uh, Sammy Sosa and just the, 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 it was on TV, national TV and the phone calls and people calling me and, uh, you know, just that experience and then, you know, just day in and day out throughout the big leagues.